electric potential energy. So if a charge is in a field, um, it experiences a force, it has potential energy. So this is similar to a mass in a gravitational field. Like we're currently in a gravitational field. If we get to a certain height, right, we will have potential energy because we've moved away from the Earth. Similar to electricity, so a charge in an electric field. So this is in what's energy normally in? What units? Joules. Joules, yep. Electric potential is given by this delta U, so change in potential energy, and it's equal also to the work done. So either the field's doing the work or the charge is doing the work. It depends on which direction the charge is going. And I'll show a diagram what I'm talking about. Um, so we've got this formula. Electric potential difference is the change in potential energy divided by the charge. To move a charge in an electric field either requires external work on the particle or work done by the field. So here's, so for a positive charge, moving with the direction of the field is work done by the field and it reduces the electric potential energy. Moving against the field, um, it's an external work on the particle so we're pushing the particle through the field, against the field, and we're increasing the electric potential energy. And this is a great summary. So the four cases. So the first two cases, it's a positive charge. The first case, the charge is going away from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal, and it's work done by the field, see? The second one is also a positive charge, but it's going towards the positive terminal. So positive charge towards a positive terminal increases the potential difference and it's acting on the field. So you can just imagine like me trying to push this charge towards the other positive charge. So I'm doing work on the field, yeah? Where the other way, I don't need to do any work because the field's pushing it away from the positive terminal. The next two cases, basically the opposite uh, because it's a negative charge. It wants us to get the work done. So the work done is given by which of these three? Delta U. So delta U rearranging using algebra is the potential difference times Q. What's the potential difference from x to y? 2 to 10. Very good. So it's the final minus the initial. So positive 10 minus positive 2 times the charge. And the charge is given here. So to figure out if it's positive or negative, it's going towards the positive terminal. It's a, does it say what type of charge it is? Oh, there. See how it's a positive charge? It's going towards the positive terminal. So I'm pushing it toward a positive charge towards a positive charge. So I'm, um, I'm putting force on the field, right? So on the field, it's a positive um, potential difference. Does that make sense? Any questions? And what does that little symbol mean? The funny U is? Micro. Very good. Joules. So if it's going back the opposite direction, it would just become, instead of positive, it would be negative. So it's to minus 10 um, times by 5 times 10 to the negative 6. So this is called on the field, and this is called, what's the opposite of on the field? Work done by the field. The field's doing the work for us.